Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Movie Social. I'm your host, Ricky, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Netflix series, The Order. Now, before we get into that, guys, if you like the series, our, our channel, or if you don't like it, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like us, and as always, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can uh, be aware of what we upload and when we upload it. Okay, so, back to uh, The Order. So, The Order, we're in Season 2 as of right now, which just recently released this past week. And so, if you haven't watched Season 1 yet, you might want to uh, pause this video and go and watch it. And then come back and then we can also all divulge into Season 2 together. So, essentially the order is basically about a group of college kids who are trying to join this secret society called the uh, Hermetic Order of the Blue Rose. Which is technically a society of witches and warlocks. And then there's also a... Never secret side society called the uh, Knights, which are actually werewolves who are basically magic police in a sense. If you're doing bad magic, they get some kind of uh, sense that bad magic is going on, and they track it down and basically eat your heart out. Unless you choose to stop, who knows? So the main character is Jake. I'm sorry, not Jake, Jack and Alyssa. Of course, they had this love kind of dynamic that went on in season one. And then carrying into season two, basically, he had joined the order in a way, but they finally had stopped the this bad warlock that was basically trying to kill quite a lot of people in the process. And so then came... Vera to become the new head of uh, the Hermetic Order of the Blue Roses. And then so she basically uh, wanted to bring the werewolves in and said, you know what, the Knights of St. Uh, Christopher needs to now be under the Hermetic Order of the Blue Roses. It's basically saying that they used to be under them as well before, so they should be under them now. They tried to use uh, some mind altering uh powers and uh whatever you want to call it dust to try and wipe the memories of the werewolves and make them all forget everything that happened in season one so that way they would join the order but that wasn't working out all too well they kept remembering things things just kept happening automatically and then at the same time there was a group of people out there that were trying to expose the witches and the whole secret societies and all by doing magic on campus, killing people, which was setting off the alarms for the werewolves. And each time that happens, they start to transform into the werewolf, which was pretty cool the way they had them transforming, if I say so myself, based off of seeing things from things like Teen Wolf and other movies and shows. This kind of had a nice uh, way of transforming. And so we get into now that they are really out of ideas, basically, on how to keep those werewolves under control. Uh, Alyssa really wants to be with Jake, of course. Well, I'm sorry, Jack. I keep calling him Jake. But be with Jack. And then they, she eventually... Because the werewolves transformed when they were trying to plan a way for them to basically join the order without them knowing they were werewolves or without knowing about magic first. But that backfired because somebody did magic in the mist and they killed them and they all transformed. But Alyssa finds them back at the uh, night's uh, hideout, lair, house, whatever you want to call it. And gives them all the back their memories. But also knocks them all out. When they come through, they all are basically pretending that they don't remember anything. And they join the order. After they join the order, that's when things really get wild, if you ask me. 
because then they really find out who the person was that was uh, doing the mad the bad magic on campus. Eventually, she's killed by Alyssa because Alyssa's magic, for some reason, has been off ever since season one ended. So she, when she's trying to perform a simple knockout or sleeping spell, it becomes too powerful and it actually kills the person. And so, during all this, the werewolves are planning their revenge on Order for what they did to them. Because basically, Order also stole all of their stuff. So, what causes the... I'm hoping you guys watch this, because what causes the werewolves to transform is their hides. And each werewolf has a hide locker where the hide goes back into when they're dead. The Order basically has all of that, took all of that from them. So they plan on finding a way to steal it back. But it's kind of complicated because, of course, it's protected by magic. They summon a demon to basically go get the magic, well, get the items from there, from that vault or whatever you want to call it, the dungeon. Basically, they take everything, including everything that the uh, Blue Rose Order has basically had as well of theirs and everything else. But, plot thickens. That stuff is then stolen from them. They eventually get the demon to backtrack to where it was taken. But, somebody happens upon them because the floor is magically set up so you they know when someone's in there. Basically, Jack uh, wolfs out, kills him. They escape, but then comes a big problem. Another demon is on his way that can basically remove fear from everyone and can send everybody back into a war. Apparently he was there before with World War II was the reason why World War II started. Eh. So now they have to fight him off, but here's the problem. The items that they really need to destroy him and send him back to hell or wherever the dimension that they believe is hell. Back to it is all with the items that were taken, which they did not get to receive since they were caught. So now Jack, oh boy, I keep calling his name Jack. Jake now, I oh know I said it right, Jack. Jack now has to basically go around and find a way, him and uh, Lilith both are the only two werewolves now that still have their fair. Alyssa has lost her fair as a uh, witch. Uh, the other two werewolves have also lost their fair thanks to this demon. But they just devise a plan, a way to get him in some type of realm where Everything is not real, but it is real because of the fear that is created. And they send him back to the alternate world or hell, whatever you want to call it. But the problem is Lilith gets pulled in with with the, guy, the demon. And so she's now stuck in there as well. They have no way of getting her out. As of right now, they're trying to find a way. But then here comes the other, next problem. The group that... Has, Stole the items, also had the items stolen from them. And now they're out to find out the werewolf that killed their own. And they're also witches and warlocks in a way. The premier. And then so. Turns out though. This all wasn't stolen from, by any either group. It was all planned by the professor, Professor Foley. Because he wants to reveal magic and wants basically everyone to have magic. It shouldn't be, he believes that it shouldn't be, oh, this secret society, that secret society, this group, that group. No, everybody should have magic. And it becomes a problem because now Foley is using their magic against them and he's also grabbed a werewolf's hide. And so he's also now a werewolf. He winds up killing a lot of people in the path to get all this done. But he allows himself to get caught because the person who we all thought was his uh, student assistant teacher or turns out to actually be the mastermind, the leader of it, 
who actually turns out to be, which I thought was kind of exciting and cool, an, a werewolf as well, because she actually has one of the hides, which her father had originally before being killed. But she takes over that hide now and is the mastermind of it all. Decides to go in. Okay, she has the whole plan. Send him in. Send Professor Foley in to be captured. But little does everybody know, he actually swallowed a kind of beetle that makes it more of like a his blood more so. I gonna put more like a virus or parasites kind of way where it affects and kills anybody. So at this time. Vera basically is about to be kicked out as the leader for the order because of everything that's happened. But everybody's starting to get, a lot of people are getting sick and dying down in there. But it's the werewolves and Vera are the ones that discover the true reason of why everybody's getting sick. And eventually they save everybody. The person that became in charge while being sick and dying and then so Vera gets back in charge, but it's only after they discover that the book from season one that Vera supposedly had destroyed was not destroyed. Alyssa finds it and basically figures out that's part of the reason why her magic has not been working properly. At this point, Alyssa's pissed off. She leaves the order. She joins up with the fanatic group that wants magic to basically be for everybody. And so they start doing magic without a sacrifice because magic, every magic spell that you do or cast has to have some kind of sacrifice via blood sacrifice in a way or else things start happening. And so they basically start doing all that magic causing ripples in uh, the world to start happening and it basically causes a major problem for everybody. Because now people are being killed when somebody else does magic. It creates this kind of big vortex that flashes the blue light or whatever. And it, if anybody's out there when it happens, it can either turn them into a different animal. You can turn them inside out and kill them. Anything can happen. So there's a way to stop that from happening where there's a spell that can allow people to do magic without a sacrifice. But Vera's the only one that has the uh, actual instructions for that spell. She doesn't want to give it to Alyssa. So Alyssa breaks into the order and holds Vera's magic hostage. And at the same time, it's all about to crumble down because... Alyssa keeps having them do magic without sacrifices. But the werewolves, on the other hand, have another idea of their own. So they want to bring back Lilith one. So they decide to, okay, we'll go forward with uh, working out a way for both of them to work together. To put it into all of this. They do that. And then after... All that is done. Alyssa still refuses to give Vera her magic back. But at the same time, one of the other va uh, witches became a werewolf as well. Who really did not like Jack's uh, werewolf uh, Silverback because of the way Silverback handles uh, his decisions based off of his emotions. And so what they decide to do is basically, bring, at that same time that all that is happening, go and use the magic to bring Lilith back, but they have to do a witch sacrifice. So they, they basically kill one of the witches, neither, neither Alyssa or Vera, but another high-ranking uh, witch in the order. They kill her, use her blood to go and to the portal and bring back uh, Lilith. They bring Lilith back, but shocker. Lilith now has an insignia of a demon. Basically, might be a full-fledged demon. Who knows? We have to wait and see. But once they bring her back, uh, Jack knocks out the other werewolf because he already figured out the only reason why 
they went along with that plan to have Vera and Alyssa work together to restore the uh, balance with the magic was so that they can both be in the same room so he can kill them both. At this time, Jack's rushing in there to try and get her, Alyssa to go. He eventually convinces Alyssa to run, but it's too late. Soon she gets to the door, the werewolf is back and slits her through. She's basically dead now, but Vera's back in power without magic, which it, or at least we think for right now. We'll have to wait and see till the next season, which I'm hoping Netflix does renew it for a third season. Okay, so personally, I loved every bit of the show. It was a different take on the whole werewolf and vampire dynamic. It was entertaining. It had some great action. Of course, I loved the way the werewolves transformed. Who wouldn't like just ripping off the, your own flesh and blood, just splashing it everywhere, and then you transform into a werewolf? And they were nice, big, and tall werewolves at that, so they weren't like the little small size wolves and so I'm really hope looking forward to another season of it I hope Netflix really does renew it because I we do have some questions that needs to be answered what's going to happen with Lilith does Vera get her magic back are they going to find a way to bring Alyssa back because uh Jack yeah he does love Alyssa but we'll see Guys, let me know what you thought about Season 2 of The Order in the comments below. And always, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications. And until next time, everybody. Oops.